Welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stephen Rong, and I'm Laurie. Today is July nineteenth, Friday, and our topic today is fresh and new. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 所以呢，今天来到我们先睹为快的单元。那么要来看到的文章主题是什么呢 ？Today is it's time for TikTok. 没错，要一起来抖音喽。TikTok is the world's most popular video sharing app. 抖音呢是世上最受欢迎的手机影片分享的应用程式。When you say most popular, it means the thing that everyone wants to do. 嗯，当我们用到 most popular 的话，当然就是最受欢迎嘛，所以表示是大家都想要做、都想要模仿的一个事情。And a lot of times, after you have most, when you say the adjective afterwards, in this situation is popular. We go most popular. We also try to extend that word to emphasize it. 嗯，那这里的话，我们看到了一个形容词前面加 most 的最高级，所以这里的话呢 ，Stephen 老师也提醒大家，就是在念的时候，你的最高级后面的形容词，你可以稍微拉长你的音调，来强调那个 most 的感觉。The next word we have after popular is video sharing. You can see there's a hyphen in between video and sharing. Video is usually a noun and sharing is a verb. But when you put a hyphen in between these two words, they become an adjective. 嗯，那么这里呢，接下来我们看到影片分享，它是一个复合的形容词，那是由 video 跟 sharing 这两个字去复合的啊、哦。那我们看到前面的 video 是名词，那么 sharing 的话呢，是动词加了 ing。The next word is app. App is a short form of the word application. 嗯，那么接下来我们看到的 app 啊、哦，很多人有时候会念 app。那其实我们要知道它是 application 这个字的缩写。Since it came out in 2016, it has been downloaded by over 500 million people. 自从呢，抖音在二零一六年问世之后啊，已经被五亿多的人下载了。When we say since it came out in 2016 or 2016, the first thing I want to bring to point is 2016 can be read as 2016, or it can also be read as 2016. 没错，那第一个呢，这个 Stephen 老师，请大家呢可以写下来的就是年代的部分。我们在讲二零一六的话呢，你可以在英文里头说两千，然后跟十六。那你也可以说二十、十六，但是这两个表达出来的都是二零一六。And when you say since it came out in 2016, it means ever since that date. It started from that time. 没错，那么有了这个 since 啊、哦，这样子的一个时间起点的一个表达法，所以当然我们就知道是从二零一六它问世开始算起。And it's also very common to see the word ever in front of since, but it can also be left out. 嗯，那么这里的话，你有时候看到 ever since， 那也是一个常见的用法。但是呢，有的时候 ever 不出现，就像现在这样的 since 也是 OK 的。When you see it has been downloaded, you'll recognize that downloaded is a verb that's in the past tense. Has been is a PP verb or past participle. It means that it has been; it's been being downloaded since 2016, but even until now. 嗯，所以接下来我们看到的是一个现在完成式的表达，用 has been 啊、哦，然后呢再加了一个 downloaded， 所以这个是表示从二零一六开始一直到我们说话的此刻为止，这个状态都还在持续着。When I said by over five hundred million people, I would emphasize five hundred by elongating that word. 嗯，那么这里的话呢，同样的，当我们要强调这个五百个百万这里的 five hundred 的时候呢 ，Steven 老师刚刚示范的一样，会把音调拉长，去感觉那个强调的这个感受。Because of the difference between Chinese and English, five hundred million it means that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight zeros behind five. So that's something I want to point out because sometimes, because of the word "when," it's very hard to know the difference between how many zeros go after the number. 是的，那所以这里的话呢，中文英文有差异哦。所以呢，五百个百万在英文的表达法里头，可是到了我们中文其实是五亿多。所以刚刚 Steve 老师提醒大家，五的后面是有八个零的，可千万不要搞错了。
TikTok lets people create videos of themselves pretending to sing popular songs. 嗯。抖音呢，让人呢用这个假装唱流行歌曲的方式啊，来创作影片。In this sentence, let's can also be allows. 嗯，那么 let's 这里呢，各位可以写上另外一个可用的动词，就是 allow. Can we spell that, please? A L L O W. 嗯，一样是让什么什么可以啊。Oh. The next word, create. It can also be a word, make. Make videos. M A K E. 没错，那这里的 make 的话呢，它就是表达了制作影片。但是如果 create 的话呢，它可能稍微多了一些是那个创作的那个强调感。So when you say create videos of themselves, that means they make videos that show themselves doing something. 没错，那当你呢创作的影片是 of yourself 的话呢，就表示当然是你创作的是展现你自己一些什么东西的影片。Let's say you wanted to make a video of somebody doing something like skateboarding. So, if I wanted to make a video of someone skateboarding, that's how I would say it. I can create videos of people skateboarding. 嗯，那所以举个例子来讲，比如说呢，在滑板这个主题的影片上呢，那么你可以拍摄的或者你可以创作的，当然就是人们在滑板的影片。As they lip sync, users will dance or do funny things to make their videos interesting. 那么使用者在对嘴的时候呢，他们就会跳舞啦，或者是做一些这个滑稽搞笑的事情，让影片变得有趣。Let's start by explaining what lip sync means. When you move your mouth to the words of a song, but you're not really singing, that's lip syncing. 嗯，那么这里的话呢，呃，英文里头可能 lip sync 这个字比较难一点，但是这讲到中文对嘴的话，大家都很容易了解。不过反而是 sync 这个字，它是 synchronization 的一个缩写。所以 ，Can we also spell that, please? Synchronization is a very long word. It's spelled S Y N C H R O N I Z A. T I O N, and that's the noun. If you want to spell it, the verb it's S Y N C H R O N I Z E. But since it's such a long word, a lot of people just constantly say sync. 没错，所以刚刚呢，这个 Steven 老师也帮我们拼了动词 synchronize 的部分。那确实如他所说，但是因为这个字实在是太长了，所以呢，你用 sync 其实就可以了。Also, one thing to point out is don't forget the H in this word is silent. 嗯，那注意到的话，这里的 H 它是不发音的。And another way that we use the word sync is when people do things at the same time or say the same things at the same time. We say in sync. They are speaking in sync. 嗯，那这里就是两个人同步了，然后两个人做了什么一致的啊、哦、这个动作或事情的时候，我们会说这两个人呢是 in sync。When they start the sentence with as they and a verb follows, that means when they do this thing. 没错，那这里的话，我们句子的开头用了 as， 那其实后面有了一个这个 they lip sync 的时候，我们知道这个 as 等于是 when 的功用了。Users will dance. So when they say users, that means people who use the app. 嗯，那这个是呃相对应于这个 app 啊、呃，就是应用程式而诞生的另外一个字。这个 user 我们指的就是使用这个应用程式的这个用户，或者我们讲使用者。So right now there's the word or separating two separate things that users will do. The first part is will dance, and the second part is do funny things. So the word "user" does not need to be repeated. 没错，那这里的话呢 ，users will do A， 然后 or B。所以这里的话 ，users 不用再讲两次。那么，所以相同主词你说一次，后面就直接表达 A or B 就可以了。Users can even use special video effects to make themselves look like monsters, animals, or fashion models. 那么使用者呢，甚至可以用影片的特效来让他们看起来像怪兽、像动物，或者是时尚的模特儿。Once the videos are finished, they can be shared online. 那么一旦呢，影片完成之后呢，就可以放上网去分享了。So this is an interesting in grammar. When you say when A, then B. In this situation, once A. 
they than B. They can be shared online. 没错啊，当你呢有这个两步的动作的时候，我们就会用到这个 once 啊这种表达。一旦怎么样，那么后面那个事情就会跟着可以发生啊。这种的呃连带关系的时候 ，once 是一个很好用的字。This sentence could also be written. They can be shared online once the videos are finished. But because they want to emphasize when the videos are finished, then they can do this the first action. That's why it's it's written in this form. 没错，那么这里的话呢，我们颠倒过来把逗号拿掉，其实也是可以的。那但是就像刚 Stephen 老师讲的，因为这里我们要强调的是，你影片一完成哦，后面这个动作才能做，所以呢，就把 videos are finished 放在前面。那记得 finish 后面有个逗号，不要忘了。Since the videos are under sixty seconds, they are quick and easy to make. 那么音乐因为影片呢不到六十秒，所以制作起来啊是很迅速而且简单的。So here is a really interesting thing because since, like when it's being used here, is more like because the videos are under sixty seconds. But earlier in this paragraph, since was used as a way to to symbolize the beginning of a time. Since it came out in 2016, so these are two different ways that since is used. 没错，那么在这个段落里头，很巧的啊，我们碰到了两次的 since。那么一个是在我们前面的时候讲到，自从二零一六一六年它问世开始，那个自从呢的 since 是一个时间的起算。那么但是在这里的 since the videos are under sixty seconds. 这里，它呢用的是等同于 because 因为这样子的一个用法。好，所以你看到了一个字在一个段落里的两个用法。When you say under in a specific time, such as under twenty seconds, that means you have to finish this action under this amount of time. 嗯，那么呢，这里 Steven 老师是补充到说，当你看到 under 后面加一个时间的这个呃。像我们这边的秒数啊，几秒啊，或者是可能几小时等等的，但是这就是表示你必须在这个时间到达之内，你就把什么事情做完。And the final thing we want to say before we go into break is when you read the words, they are quick and easy to make. Quick has a very hard finish, so it's very common for people to take a short break there when they're speaking. So you don't have to feel like you have to rush through the sentence. So you can go, they are quick and easy to make. 没错，那因为 quick 后面的这个气音，所以呢，其实如果你为了让自己念得顺一点的话，在 quick 后面你是可以稍微的暂停一下，不用急着把它连下去的。All right, now let's go into break. Welcome back. TikTok videos are also addictive to watch, as they can provide a quick laugh. 嗯，那么抖音的影片呢、啊，也是会让人看上瘾的，因为呢，它能让人家一看就笑了。Addictive is an adjective. Constantly, we also see the word addicting. 那么呢，这里我们看到了 addictive 啊，就是一个形容词，上容易上瘾的。那么呢，有时候你会看到的是 addict。后面再加了 ing， 也是当形容词的功能用。As they can provide a quick laugh, so as they can is so they also can is another way to say that. 嗯，那么后面呢，我们看到这里的 as they can 也等于 they also can。那么后面呢，再去接我们的句子后半。嗯 ，as can also be another way to say because. 嗯，那这里的 as 呢，也同样的是当 because 因为的功能了。So provide is also another verb to use.、Uh, another verb that can be used is give. 嗯，那么这里的话呢，我们也可以写下另外一个动词是 give 呢，也等同于 provide 在这里的功用。那呃，这个 give 就是 G I V E 了。So what does it mean by a quick laugh? Because TikTok videos are only sixty seconds or less, that means that you can't laugh for a very long time. So they're just emphasizing that the laugh that you get from these videos is very short. 嗯，所以呢，这里的话呢，除了一看就笑的这个概念之外呢，这个 Steven 老师也这个提到说，因为这个影片都是不到六十秒的，所以你要笑，你也不可能笑非常的久。所以呢，这里的 quick 啊、哦，这个很快的笑的原因，是因为它影片很短。The app is most popular with kids and teenagers. 这款手机的应用程式啊，是最受小朋友跟青少年的欢迎了。
So kids, uh, usually we can also say children.、Uh, usually the age group can be from age either one to nine or one to ten. 嗯，那么这里的话呢 ，kids 或者我们常用的呢，这个 children 啊，两个都可以。那通常指的年龄层呢，从一岁一直到九或十岁不等。For teenagers, it's usually after ten and until eighteen. 嗯，那么呢，青少年的部分则是从十岁以上一直到十八岁为止的这个年龄层。And another word that we constantly use instead of teenagers is Teens, which is just a short form of the word T E E N S. 没错，那刚刚拼的这个 teens 的话呢，也是另外一个你可以用比较简短的方法去表达青少年的一个字。It gives them a way to show off their personalities and connect with others. 那么呢，它给了他们一个表现自己个性啊、呃，以及呢跟其他人来连接的一个方法。So earlier, I said provide can be changed to give. In this situation, it can be the opposite. We can use it provides them a way to show off their personalities. 没错，那这里的话呢，反过来的啊，这刚刚用那个 give 可以代替 provide， 这里你可以用 provide 来代替 give. One of the main reasons to know different ways to write the same meaning word is when you're doing written English, it's better to have different verbs so you're not using the same word over and over. 没错，那这里 Steven 老师是补充到说，那为什么你呢？这个多背一些同义字对你是好的，是因为当我们在写作的时候啊，其实最不希望的就是一再的去重复相同的字了。好，所以你有一个同义，但是不同的字可以应用的时候，你就比较会有 variety 一个多样性了。The words to show off constantly have a very negative connotation in English. 嗯，那么接下来我们看到了 a way to show off 这个 show off 呢，平常的话比较有一个负面一点的那个意思。Because usually when you say to show off, it means that you want to really demonstrate something that you can do, and sometimes people don't like it when people aren't modest. 嗯，那么呢，因为啊、哦、，show off 一般的用法出来就是你要炫耀啊、哦，你想要证明说你有某个东西你会做，而且你是想要让人知道的啊、哦，那个炫耀的感觉。那所以当有的时候我们一般呢希望人要谦虚的这个前提之下的话呢，当然就不太会喜欢人家在炫耀了。So a safer word, which is what I used earlier, is demonstrate. D E M O N S T R A T E. 嗯，所以同样是展现的话呢，你就可以用刚刚啊、哦，这个 Steven 老师他拼的这个字呢，这个谦虚的多，中性的多了。In this particular sentence, since there are two things that people can show off, I chose to emphasize the word and. So that's a good way to show there are two different items in the sentence. I'll do it again just to demonstrate. It gives them a way to show off their personalities. And connect with others. 嗯，那这里的话呢，是提到呢，在念这个句子的语调上呢，要强调那个 and 的原因，是因为通常就是有 a and b 的时候，那你那个中间的那个 and 把它凸出凸显出来的时候，就会让大家很清楚你句子的结构，前面跟后面是你的 a 跟 b。所以就像刚 Stephen 老师念的那样子。And one thing I really want to emphasize is when you're reading these passages, make sure you try to add different highs and lows, so it doesn't sound like you're just reading the whole sentence very evenly. 嗯，那么另外一个语调上的提醒呢 ，Stephen 老师讲到说呢，尽可能让你自己在读啊、哦、这个课文文章啊、哦、的时候呢，加入语调中的高低起伏，因为呢这样子的话，你的语调才会越来的越自然，像我们真的讲话的时候，而不会是一整个句子都是平的语调。Some adults are also using TikTok to create silly videos and relieve some stress. 那么有些大人呐、啊，也用抖音的创作啊，抖音来创作一些搞笑的影片来舒压。When you want to say that you want to let off some steam, you want to give off some of your pressure, you can also say relieve some stress. But the ways I just said also mean the same way. 啊、uh, ，所以刚刚呢，啊、uh, ，这个舒压啊， uh, 我们这边学到的 relieve some stress， 或者是刚刚 Steven 老师教我们的 let off some steam 啊、uh, ，这样的一个方法，让这个蒸汽呢稍微释放出来一些，都是舒压的概念。Content on TikTok is always changing as well。那么抖音上的内容呢，其实也一直在改变。
So when you want to say something like a material inside a video or a material inside a book, we would use the word content. 嗯，所以呢，这个 content 在这里当然是内容，我们中文知道。不过呢，刚刚 Stephen 老师用了一个蛮好的字，叫 material 啊、哦，这个也是同样在这里的话，指到书或者某个创作物里的内容。这个字 ，Can we spell that, please? Material is spelled M A T E R I A L. 嗯，所以呢，这个字也可以把它学下来哦。So when I wear the word always, I chose to elongate this word. It's very important that constantly there are adverbs or adjectives that we would emphasize by elongating it when we say it. 嗯，那么这里呢，又再来补充到一个语调的这个小秘诀，讲到说呢，在这个句子里的话呢 ，always 是你可以用拉长语调来去进行你的强调的。那我们可不可以请这个 Steven 老师再念一次这个句子？ Content on TikTok is always changing as well. Oh, 听到了吗？所以在这里的 always， 这里的已经拉长的感觉，就强调出它的这个存在了。As well in the sentence could also be changed to to t o o. 没错，那这里的 as well 也哦，也就等于 t o o 的也。这里当然也可以把它写下来。One thing that's very different between Chinese and English is when you use the word "ye" in Chinese, it's usually in the beginning of the sentence, but in English, it's usually the opposite. It's at the end of the sentence. 对，通常的话呢，在中文里头也是在句中啦。哦。那么，但是英文里头，你常常会看到是在句尾的地方，这是它一个不同的之处。Users are cooking, performing magic tricks, and showing off their pets to add variety. To their videos. 那么使用者呢？他用烹饪啊，或者表演魔术啦，啊，还有炫耀他们的宠物的这个方式啊，来增加自己影片的多样性。Performing magic tricks. This word could also be doing magic tricks, but performing is the word that is a little bit more、uh, complex, advanced, and sounds better as well. 嗯。那这里的 performing 啊、哦，这个表演呃魔术的这个部分，当然你也可以换成 doing。不过就像刚刚 Stephen 老师讲的，你用的 performing 这个字的话，听起来是比较炫的啊、哦，因为它比较这个这个字比较深一点，然后而且呢也比较复杂一点，所以呢你可以呃这个学起来的话，不用 doing 的话，分数应该会多一点。So here,、um, showing off, like we said earlier, showing off might have some negative connotations, and we give we gave the alternative of demonstrate. It actually cannot be used in this particular situation because you can't demonstrate your pet. Demonstrating is more like performing, but you can't perform your pet. You have to really just show off your pet. 嗯，那这里的话呢，因为这里的 show off 呢，它是真的必须要拿出你的宠物来展示啊、哦，这样的一个概念。那我们刚刚用的那个 demonstrate 呢，就比较不能够替换在这个地方了。Here there are three different things that people are doing, users are doing. There's cooking, performing magic tricks, and showing off their pets. If you recognize each part is a verb with an ing. Anytime you have a verb in a particular A form, and it's in the list. You have to make sure that form stays the same. So I couldn't say users are cooking to perform magic tricks and to show off their pets. They, if one of them, the first one is ing, the rest of the verbs also have to be ing. 嗯，那这里话提醒大家的是，使用者做的这三件事——烹饪、表演魔术跟展示他们的宠物，在这里的动词 ing 的这个时态呢，啊、哦，这个形态必须要记得一致的啊、哦。那其实这也是因为它其实是把 users are 通通都简略掉，它只讲一次，所以呢，其实你是 users are cooking， 那当然是 users are performing， 你就不可能变成 users are to perform， 不会出现这样子的一个不一致的状态了。And the part at the very end to add variety to their videos. The first thing I want to point out is variety means differences in a lot of different things. 没错 ，variety 呢，当然就是指多样性啊，变化性。Okay, whatever the future holds for TikTok, it's sure to be fun. 嗯，那么不论未来啊，抖音会有什么样的这个呃发展，但是呢，一定肯定是会有趣的。Whenever we say whatever the future holds, that means we don't know what the future is going to bring. 嗯，那么当我们这样讲的时候呢，因为 hold 本来是一个呃有一个握住啊、呃，或者拥有，或者是一个容器去容纳什么的概念。所以呢，未来它到底会有什么，我们是不知道的。所以也就等于刚刚 Stephen 老师说的，未来会 bring 会带来什么，我们是不晓得的。
Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be fun. Thank you for tuning in.